way, 50 kilograms, women's junior level. Freestyle finals, in on a shot early, head outside, single leg is Shilson. She gets rolled through, and that's going to be two quick points by Shotwell. So off of Shilson's shot, it's Shotwell herself countering for two. And we get a stalemate. Shilson finds herself in an unexpected position, trailing in this junior division finals bout. 20 years and under is the age group. Another shot, this time head on the inside, trying to come out the back door. Shilson driving forward, but holding on to a far ankle is shot well. She's stymied Shilson thus far. Shilson looking to crack back, come around the far leg side. Shotwell not giving up on that ankle yet. No points yet. Now Shotwell down on her hip. Shilson trying to straighten that leg, but Shotwell hanging on. And we're gonna get another stalemate. Are you surprised at this so far? Yeah, Shotwell's got some incredible defense here going on. We know Emily Shilson has super quick attacks. We've seen it at all levels, but Shotwell, she, she uh, beat Samara Chavez in the semis, or excuse me, in the quarters, so we know she's got some work she's put in here today. That's right, Chavez, I believe, ranked number one in the high school rankings. Yeah. Um, so pulling off the upsets to make to the finals, and now leading deep into the first period against Emily Shilson, who's been wrestling on the senior level. This is... This is the junior level. She's going to wrestle in the U23s as well. This would be quite the upset if she can pull it off, but we're a long ways from that. Shilson has a lot of time to make up that deficit. Working the two-on-one. This is where Shilson likes to be in neutral. Shotwell seems very strong for 50 kilograms. You saw her holding on to that far ankle, not giving up there, and she's doing a great job hand fighting out of these Russian ties that Shilson throws in. Shilson was on the 2019 U23 world team last year. And she still has junior eligibility, obviously, because she's in this tournament, so showing that she can wrestle up in age groups. She's won just about everything. Shilson's got a trophy case full of stop signs and medals. She's won Fargo I don't know how many times. I think six times NCAA champ this last spring at the inaugural NCWWC women's event. Ranked number one heading into this season. All the accolades you could imagine, but Shotwell does not seem intimidated by that. And I think she's got a Princess Leia and a Wonder Woman on her singlet. Very, very cool singlet. As we go to the break, Shilson's still down by two. That's Chad Shilson, father of the wrestler in the blue corner, giving her instruction. Instrumental, uh, I believe, in starting the uh, Augsburg D3 team in Minnesota. Absolutely, and Augsburg is the only university that offers women's wrestling in Minnesota right now. It's not sanctioned as a high school girls sport, but they're working hard toward it, and so you know, this would be a big step for them. Yes, and the, and the Twin City RTC, Twin Cities, as there are two of them, hence the name Twin. That's Minneapolis and St. Paul. As we go back to action in the second period, see if Shilson, Shilson can, back, can get back onto her leg attacks and try to get a clean finish this time. Meanwhile, Shotwell needs to just keep doing what she's doing. Keep that hand fighting up. And if she can score another point or two, that'll really help things out. Probably doesn't want to cling to a 2-0 lead for the rest of this period. Some snaps from Shilson, goes back to that two-on-one. And we get the passivity warning. It's a good chance Shotwell will go on the clock if Shilson, or if, if there are no scores after another 30 seconds or so.
Back to the hand fighting. Both wrestlers working very hard, staying in the center, circling. Oh, and there is the activity clock. My bad. I missed that. We have 15 seconds left on it for Shotwell to score. She gives up a point. I believe I heard her corner say it doesn't matter. So in the, uh, in the sense that, you know, this point goes on the board. She's still up 2-1. A step out would still give Shotwell the lead via criteria as we round the clock down under two minutes. And the point is confirmed. All right, so two to two. That was uh, negative wrestling and a uh, penalty point. It's tied, though. Shotwell still has the criteria lead. Another shot from Sh uh, Shilson. Trying to come out the back door again. And now Shilson will not be denied this time. Two points. Muscling through. She's looking for that leg lace. Fingertips just scraping the ankle of Shotwell. Doesn't have it yet. Now she's got it locked up, and this is trouble. Shilson has a good leg lay. She reloads a second time, doesn't get it. Good defense from Shotwell. That's been keeping her in this match the entire time. These ladies are really strong in this neutral position with this hand fight. You can tell they're just jockeying for position. And yeah, pressure. Shotwell, very impressive in her ability to clear these ties. Shilson. Uh, very strong here. Of course, she did get dinged for that um, passivity call and the penalty point, but that does not take away from the fact that she's matching Shilson toe-to-toe -to -toe in the strength department. Shot from Shotwell, stopped by Shilson. 40 seconds to go. Whatever happens in this bout, I think we can all agree that... Uh, Selena Shotwell needs to be put on everyone's radar. Taking Absolutely. out Chavez in the quarters and then Bayless in the semis. Very accomplished wrestlers. It's going to come right down to the wire here. She's going to have to keep that position. That's right. Shilson not out of the woods yet, although final seconds coming off the clock. And that'll do it. What a performance by, by both. Yeah, made her work. I agree. Shilson probably won't be too pumped, even though she is a champion. Holds herself to a very high standard. But she is the national champ at 50 kilograms, women's freestyle junior division. Great way to start off this set of finals. Absolutely. What about 